Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 4th, 2021. The first morning market prep video of 2021, and I hope everyone had a great holiday, was able to rest. Hopefully you stayed safe, everyone's healthy, and we're ready to kick off this new year with a bullish move this morning. So we had a big, big return up on um, New Year's Eve. There was a big bullish rally at the end of the day on New Year's Eve, rallying things back pretty darn strongly. And now this morning we're trying to push on higher still. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. This morning, everyone, looking at price action, there is an unmistakable bullishness here in the charts, in the index charts. As you can see, as trends continue, and we push down here just a little bit to test this level of price support here in the Dow. And as you can see, reverse that move back up, trying to push us through to the upside um, and setting new records um, on New Year's Eve. This morning, we have futures pushing for a bullish gap up and the potential of new record highs this morning um, at the open. So we remain very, very bullish here. Now, one of the things I want to talk about at this morning as traders all we can do really is stay with that trend but that even though the trend is relentlessly bullish we want to make sure and remember that just in case there is some kind of a stumble we want to be prepared with a plan and let me show you this if we go to uh, just the dow uh, the Dow Industrial Average. And notice where we are based on that 30,000 in the Dow. A pullback to test this level again as price support. Let's just notice that would be a 600 point move should that occur. So what that tells us is we need to be uh, vigilant in our planning, making sure that we have a plan just in case the market does stumble. Right now, we as a market are ignoring anything that could be um, a negative effect to the market. We're, we're focused on stimulus rolling out. We're focused on um, hopefulness that vaccines will curb the problem. We're ignoring the fact that hospitalizations reach new record highs over the holiday and that the new COVID variant, um, the more infectious variant is here in the United States. We're ignoring the potential new restrictions that a new administration may impose here on the market. And right now we can gleefully um, just continue to push higher, um, even though valuations are getting a little bit stretched out here. Um, because we don't have any earnings data to potentially drive us the other direction. So what I'm trying to say is make sure as a trader, stay with the trend, but don't be lulled to sleep that the market will never sell off again. Because trust me, there will be a time. Now, I don't know how long this can, can extend. There will be a time when those bears will come back. And unfortunately, the way it um, likely occurs when we run like this is they will come back all of a sudden. There'll be a quick, swift reversal of sentiment. So right now, everything is bullish. Um, we're staying bullish, but let's hope that there is no stumble. If we have any kind of a stumble as far as a rollout of vaccines or any of, the, any of those things, new restrictions, hospitalizations uh, continue to rise, new restrictions get imposed, any kind of stumble could set us back pretty hard. So just make sure that you have a plan to protect your capital if that were to occur. Don't just blindly rush in and be careful not to overtrade. This is one of those markets where it's really easy to overtrade and then we get that 
that heart attack that occurs and your accounts are severely damaged. So make sure to have a plan. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. Technicals here in the chart remain very, very bullish. The one thing I continue to point out and will continue to point out is that we are sufficiently, well, we are substantially separated from our 50 day moving average. And it's not uncommon after a long extension to the upside that we find a reason to come back and test that 50-day moving average. Happens all the time. So let's not forget that possibility does exist and make sure that we have a plan to protect ourselves should we start to see that occur. Right now, bulls are in control and very bullish to the upside. So watch that carefully let's take a look at spy spy also new record setting move here pushing up this morning and we're seeing lots and lots of bullishness here as we kick off the first of the year let's hope that this doesn't end up turning into some kind of a pop and drop um as um you know we have seen many times before but hopefully that is not the case this morning that we stay um bullish here in this chart but let's watch that pretty carefully and closely this morning as we push higher in the market notice that we have a nice little level of price support that we tested in here trend remains strong and bullish and yet we still have um, you know pretty substantial pullback if we were to come back to that 50-day moving average so just stay on your toes stay with the trend but be watchful of any kind of a reversal um, that could occur and let's take a look at the cues cues um, also very very bullish showing lots of strength pushing up this morning as you can see to another new record we're going to start this year off with new records in these indexes pushing very very strong trend is definitely bullish one thing i have to say about the nasdaq is that we really need to focus on those big tech firms if they remain bullish the nasdaq will remain bullish should they start to slip if those big tech firms start to find some sellers this could be a problematic right now those big tech firms continue to find those buyers and there doesn't really seem to be any concern as to what price these stocks are we just want to push them higher so watch that carefully keep in mind any pullback could be substantial if we come back to that 50-day moving average but right now there is no threat of that we are staying very very bullish trend is up nice little stair step here pushing on up to the upside let's take a look at iwm iwm had a little bit of concern and struggle and it still remains just a little bit of a a concern here seeing that we kind of topped out here now i've been mentioning that when you take a look at this chart that it looks a bit parabolic that we've risen just too far too fast and while the market was continuing, or other indexes were continuing to go up, notice that we kind of ran into some trouble here um, in IWM. Now, although the other indexes are showing lots of bullishness this morning, we're not seeing quite so much here in IWM. Could we perk right back up? Yes, absolutely we could, but let's watch that closely. We don't want to see um, a failure or any kind of uh, follow through to this downside move. We want to see that push back higher so watch iwm closely just keep in mind it may just need a bit of a consolidation and when i say a bit of a con consolidation after such an extraordinary run it could consolidate for weeks um, if necessary to allow these averages to catch up but watch that closely let's take a look at our vix now our vix continues to remain perplexing to me and that is the fact that in, in my entire trading history, I've never seen new record highs being set in the market when the VIX remains above a 20 handle. As a matter of fact, it's usually in the low teens and even down in the uh, 10 area when we're setting new record highs. So this is pretty odd um, to me because I've never in my 30 years of trading never seen this. But that doesn't mean that this is um, bearish in any way, shape, or form. But what it does tell me is that we have to have a little bit of caution in the way we move with the market and just be careful not to overtrade or chase stocks that are already extended. One thing that you would expect is that we would have seen on a new record high 
seeing the VIX pull back. Um, but that's not what happened um, on Thursday. As you can see, as we were rallying, setting new records, we also saw the VIX moving back up off of a low. An interesting situation to be sure. So watch that closely um, should we start to run into a little bit of trouble here. Right now, this morning, we show bullishness. And hopefully, what I'd like to see with this bullish move is that we break this little support here. Um, break this down and finally start to see that VIX um, moving down like it should be moving down as we move higher. But let's watch this carefully and closely. And I don't think we're going to run into any major problem. And I've said this many times before. I don't think we're going to run into any major problem here in the VIX unless we break above this little downtrend here, above that 50 day moving average hold that area as support and then see follow through sellers that's where the real problem will come in it, it happens that way every time so watch for that as long as we stay down below that trend i think we're in pretty good shape let's take a look at a t2122 which is our four week new high new low ratio and notice those couple of days of selling that we um, experienced here actually relieved the pressure here we've been up here in this um, very high place for um, longer than a, a normal period for sure and we pulled back and we saw that bearishness that came in for just a short period of time and then those bulls came rushing back. Now this morning we could easily see with this gap up open that we're going to be pushing back up here into this um, um, bearish re reversal zone. But what we've seen here lately is we have that capacity, that willingness to just continue to buy even though we're up here. And if we get up here, um, just note a little bit of caution, stay with the trend, and be watchful for that potential of a reversal. But I don't think there's any reason to be any, uh, any real fear about it just yet. Um, we're not seeing that in the market. So watch that closely. If we perk back up here, we'll be back up into that potential short-term overextended condition. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, I typically don't spend a lot of time talking about T2101, but I got to tell you, this does concern me. And it continues to concern me as we continue to set new record highs and we're seeing market breadth continue to decline. Now we've reached down here into a re potential reversal zone on T2122. And what does that mean? Well, um, if we don't see follow through buyers, if we don't see those buyers um, um, really picking up, and when I say follow through, um, what T2101 is telling us is that um, we're seeing fewer and fewer stocks maintaining or sustaining these high levels in the market. We need to see a more broader based uh, buying rally to go on to start moving this back up. That is a little bit of, um, well, that's that raises that question. What happens if those select few can um, happen to stumble? So watch that closely. One of the things we will see oftentimes is if the sellers come in, we get a big change in that absolute breadth um, index is all of a sudden the the sell side really starts to spike that up and that's one of the things that we saw in here sell side really spiking up that absolute breadth so watch that carefully and closely we'll have to um, I don't know what this means but we'll just want to keep an eye on that that fewer and fewer stocks are holding the market up and that should give us just a little bit of pause and also raise those little caution flags up there a little bit so that we protect ourselves let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has got a couple things that we want to pay attention to, but not likely to move the market a ton today. Sorry, I keep picking up that other window. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the uh, PMI manufacturing number will be coming out this morning. Um, I don't know that there's going to be a lot of fireworks around that, but that's something we'll want to pay attention to. And we also have construction spending. Um, it might be worthy to note that we're going to have a big day of Fed speak. They're out here 
Um, and that's kind of um, a theme for this um, week. You can see we're going to have lots of Fed speak going on. And probably not a big surprise because we're going to have FOMC minutes coming out on Wednesday. We have the ISM manufacturing on Tuesday. We'll want to pay attention to that. Um, international trading good and of course uh, jobless claims. And then the, the big number of the week is probably going to be this employment situation number. That'll be critical as we move forward, will we start to see any any um, COVID related impacts on that number? Um, well, we'll find out. So on Friday, um, kind of keep that in mind. Also note that we can see light and choppy price action, um, fairly typical um, as we get closer and closer to those FOMC minutes. Um, that can be a little bit um, goofy. Uh, time just keep keep in mind that right now we have such an accommodating fed i kind of doubt it will be as impactful um, as a lot of fomcs and then it is fairly typical that the market becomes a little bit light and choppy as we head into that friday number uh, that employment situation number so just kind of keep that in mind stay focused um, watch that price action carefully let's take a look at a few stocks that um could be setting up by the way earnings um we do have several um stocks listed um for earnings today but none of them um are um you know really those big um market moving they're all small cap companies and what's interesting today is not a single one of them is a verified report so on the earnings front i don't have any notables for today and um, we're likely not to experience um, any major movement in the market as a result so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos um hopefully you've noticed that these videos might be a little bit different than when what you might see out there on other social media and that is there is no hype there is no prediction here in what i do Everything is based on the price action of the chart and staying focused into a trading plan where we're not over trading, we're just following the trends of the market. And if you find those to be helpful in how you prepare for your day, if you could please click that thumbs up button and then also click that bell icon, or excuse me, um, uh, click to leave a brief message that will help me continue to grow the channel, help us reach more folks. And I just wanna say thank you to all of the very kind um, words out there that you guys um, leave in those comments. It's very humbling um, and so nice to see people getting uh, benefit from these videos, uh, means the world to me. And um, I just wanna say thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Also, please feel free to share these videos on any of your social platforms. And I wanna say thanks to anyone who does do that. It makes a difference uh, for the channel. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and realize that every time I show a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security that every trader has to do their own due diligence, be focused, um, on your rules and your guidelines and never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Take a look at um, AA. AA has been in an interesting pattern. Notice that we broke through a substantial resistance level here in Alcoa and then we've taken a sufficient amount of time to just consolidate that move. We just kind of rested in here. Now we're starting to see that bullishness perk up in here. Metals have been pretty interesting here lately and Alcoa holding up nicely. So let's watch this in here, that opportunity that this could go ahead and extend on out. Perhaps we will reach up here for some of these next resistance levels in the chart. Watch that one closely. Another metals that I think um, everyone should pay attention to is FCX. Now, I bought FCX and on the same day sold FCX um, on this breakout. Um, had a 
20 plus percent gain um, on the trade in just one day right here and just wanted to take the profits heading into the holiday. But as you can see, we push back a little bit here on that uh, chart and on um, New Year's Eve and now we're showing bullish this this morning. So those bulls are pushing back here into copper. Watch that closely. This was a um, substantial move here. You can see breaking a above a substantial resistance from years ago in the chart, consolidating that move, holding up here, and now we're pushing on through. FCX could extend. You also might wanna take a look at SCCO. SCCO, another copper um, stock that you might wanna keep an eye on. This is being uh, showing lots of bullishness here and could certainly show that follow through. And you can see it's trying to gap up this morning. Um, in this move so copper remaining quite strong that said i need to make mention of gold and silver gold is taking a big pop this morning um, moving up sharply we've been keeping an eye on this and unfortunately i am not in this trade yet and um, what i think is notable about this is that we're gapping substantially this morning notice right here uh, breaking through a substantial resistance in the chart. So now any rest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity to maintain this trend. Watch for that next entry. I'm not suggesting you chase this today, but watch um, gold. Gold is starting to perk up here and show some strength. And with all the money printing being done, it makes some sense. Let's take a look at silver, SLV. SLV also very, very strong here. Uh, this morning pushing on higher and as you can see breaking through showing lots of strength silver holding up very very well so if you're not in that like me at this point watch for that next entry into silver um, looking pretty decent here take a look at Starbucks Starbucks very strong chart as you can see Starbucks moving up sharply moving on through to the upside, holding up into a nice trend. Now, I wouldn't suggest chasing this. It's too many days up right now. A rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. Any pullback or consolidation that holds above this price level um, would be a, um, a productive move and possibly bullish, so watch that if that rests or pulls back. Could be a nice chart to be keeping an eye on. Um, take a look at play. I've mentioned this one several times before and play continues to perform. Even though it, it really doesn't make much sense to me, um, a video game place where everyone gets together during COVID season to, uh, you know, to drink beer and play video games. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me right now that it's showing this much bullishness, but it is. And those bulls um, pushed in here hard, as you can see, um, last um, last Thursday, uh, New Year's Eve. And now we're trying to um, hold that move. So let's watch this little consolidating zone right in here. And as we can come over here and connect with that trend, look for that next possible leg up here in Dave & Buster's. It's looking pretty darn good. Take a look at CLF. Uh, back on the metals here just a little bit. Cliff, or Cleveland Cliffs, looking very, very good here, as you can see. Very bullish, and you can see my alert on that chart. We popped through there, held this area as support, and now we're starting to show that move on higher. Steel stocks looking very, very good. And one more to maybe pay attention to if you like a lower price might be U.S. Steel. Notice that U.S. Steel moved up very sharply here sliding back here toward the trend and now we're trying to get this stabilization in here if this stabilizes right in this area watch for that next opportunity that next leg up here in u.s steel looking pretty good here on the pattern itself overall take a look at caterpillar caterpillar also very very strong holding up in its trend um, 
showed lots of bullishness off of this little trend pushing up. So let's keep an eye on that caterpillar looking very, very good. I'm sorry guys, it looks like I'm running out of time. I don't want to extend this video too much, but anything in that heavy equipment area has been looking really good. And we might want to look to some of these consumer defensive type stocks. They're really starting to perk up as well. Notice Coca-Cola pushing on through, showing lots of bullishness here, pushing through any rest or pullback sets up that opportunity. So maybe look at some of those consumer defensive stocks as well. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, the first trading day of 2021. Wish you great success. We'll see you all right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care. Have an awesome day. And I want to um, uh, wish everyone a very profitable and safe day. Take care, guys.